Hey guys, Salty Sweet Ren here. Now, I know for most of my viewers, you might be a little confused because this isn't really my normal content. Unless, of course, you've seen the thumbnails for my streams and decide not to click for whatever reason. Which is fine, I guess. But uh, basically, I've kind of played Minecraft off and on for a good few years now, but I've never actually beat the game. So, I decided that the best way to beat the game is to go through each version little by little and give myself different goals before updating each time from all the way from 1.0 all the way to, um, well, whatever version we're on by the time I catch up. Now, I know that not everybody is able to spare the time to watch an hour and a half of me playing Minecraft, so I decided to cut my streams down into shorter, more easy to watch chunks. This isn't gonna be like super edited, like, it might just be me taking out awkward pauses, or replacing any music that YouTube decided didn't like me using in my streams or something. But anyways, I had a lot of fun during these streams lately, and I hope you enjoy these shorter videos as much as I do. And if somehow you've come across this series and aren't actually subscribed, but enjoy these videos, please do feel free to subscribe, because it really does help out the channel if you do. Also, hit the like button and leave a comment as well, letting me know. Maybe, maybe if you enjoy this enough, you might even join in on some streams, who knows? But yes, be sure to support the channel if you want to see me keep making more of this kind of content. So let me know in the comments, and uh, for now, I'll just leave you guys to the video. Enjoy! Also, I'm so sorry for the audio quality in this first episode. I had been messing with my mic a little bit, and some of the settings got a little bit messed up. So, it gets fixed eventually in some future streams, just please bear with me as I get it all figured out eventually. <sighs> it's been a while, but yes, Minecraft time, Minecraft time! Uh, each stream will you be moving up an update? Not necessarily each stream. Uh, and I don't think there is a Minecraft 2.0, but Minecraft versions... I mean, technically there is a Minecraft 2.0, but it's not really playable. Um, I know Mumbo Jumbo did a video this year on Minecraft 2.0, but it was an April Fool's thing. But um, basically the idea is that every single Every single version of the game that I play, I'm gonna have a set of goals for myself. Uh, I'm going to be giving myself, like, different objectives for each version. Because the thing is, I am bad at Minecraft. I am notoriously bad at the game. Also, I'm, I'm playing in 1.0 right now, as you can see, like, right over... I, you can't see it. Apparently this little thing is blocking it. I'll just move it really quick. Let me move this really quick. Right down there, you can see it says version 1.0.0. Move that back down. You can't hear the music. Oh dear. The idea though is that like, I'm giving myself different goals. I'm bad at the game, so I'm gonna be giving myself different goals for each version that I'm playing through to try and get myself to be better at the game while also trying to find, like give myself reason to progress through each version. Like starting from the very, very beginning before we had a lot of stuff, like early days, I remember like when horses were added. I remember like that was a huge thing. Blocks of coal, hay bales, like those weren't those weren't around. I remember that like, when acacia was a whole new thing. I remember savannas not, did not exist. I remember I remember like some really old stuff. I remember like I used to be able to find jungles all the time, but then after they did up did the update where like they like started sorting things by like, okay, these are warm biomes, these are cold biomes, these are like different types of environments. I never was able to find a jungle after that, is what I found. But I'm trying my best here. Anyways. New world. Uh, I'm gonna new world options, generate structures on, that's fine. There's not a whole ton of options. So I'm just gonna call this world to the end. And for a seed, I'm gonna just put my- I'm gonna use my username as a seed because if you if y'all wanna try out the seed, why not? So salty sweet ren to the end, I'll do salty sweet ren to the end. So I guess that's what I'm doing. <laughs> world is already here. Hello world. Hello world! It's me! We're here, I guess. Look at us. It's, it's been a while. Anyways, first things first. Uh, we spawned right by... Filming the cave system. Oh, I did, I did. There's some iron right there. Iron, good. 
Okay, um, first things first. Punch tree, get wood. Easily, first thing. Uh, what biome, we're, we're in the forest. How long do I think the streams are gonna be? Uh, I usually stream for an hour and a half. I might go two hours if I'm feeling up for it. Uh, with this version of the game, 1.0, my goal is actually down in the description for 1.0. Hello? Sapling just fell. I'll take that. My goal for this version is to get a full, like, full iron gear and a full stack of iron before I move on. Also make, like, a little base specifically for 1.0 and a little, a, like... A unique build using stuff from just 1.0 so I don't know what what exactly I'm gonna do like basically the most basic starter house probably your typical like oak log lining on the outside with like the oak planks type stuff maybe a, maybe a cobblestone foundation it'll probably be the most basic house I'm not sure what kind of build I'm gonna do for like a unique shrine slash build. Not necessarily a base, but just like something. I'm not really a builder either, so it's gonna be a little tricky. Uh, let me make most of these into planks. I can't do the dragging thing apparently. Um, I need sticks. I have to do separate clicks, that's so annoying. And then I'm gonna make myself some tools. An axe. And the pickaxe. I know I can get some cobblestone pretty easily, like right out there. Let's see, I don't like caves very much, but I mean, if I play it safe, I mean there's cobble there's stone right here. There's very easy to access coal. I should just like switch to uh, stone pickaxe now because there is some very easy to find iron right here. I've never been able to find iron this quickly in the past, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, here, and I'll make myself a stone sword as well, just in case, just in case. And why not a couple, why not a furnace as well? I'd like to have a furnace. This is actually a very good spot that I spawned. Was not expecting to have such a good spawn. Look at me talking like a real Minecrafter here. Like, oh yeah, I got a good spawn. I've got a good location. I'm gonna be doing this thing and that thing. The blocks are so ugly. Hurt your eyes. Oh, I'm so sorry, Killy Cat. <laughs> Haven't actually played Minecraft in years. Ooh, yeah. I. To be fair. I've been playing kind of off and on over the years, so there's some stuff I haven't touched. I haven't played the newest couple of updates. Never been to the Deep Dark. Have not done anything with like the Sniffers and the Sakura Forest or Cherry Blossom Grove or whatever it's called currently. But yeah, the gravel does look terrible. Look at that gravel. That is the worst. That is bad gravel. Look at this iron. Just right here, there's a bit of iron here. Swimming's not really a thing, you have to kind of walk in the water instead. At least I don't think swimming was a thing. I've, I've actually, the kind of person who's never beat the Ender Dragon, I've, like, I have been playing, like, since, like I, like I mentioned, I've been playing, like, for years, through, like, since, like, I remember version 1.6 coming out, maybe even I might have started in 1.4? I don't remember very clearly. I think I was like using my cousin's account because he logged into it on my laptop, never logged out. But then eventually I made my own account. So that was a whole thing. This is this is old days. Guys, if you if you did, haven't realized yet, we are doing like old Minecraft here. Well, actually I'm gonna take some of this coal because I wanna make some torches just in case. So this is more of a pit. I actually think this is mostly safe, but I'd still like to light it up just in case. This is a little... Oh, this isn't actually so bad. This is a little spooky over here. Maybe not as spooky as I thought, but still. Just covering my bases here. Oh, iron. Hello. Only music you can hear is intermittent stat staticky noises. Oh dear. 
Uh, is anybody else having weird staticky noises? That's a little concerning if all you can hear is staticky noises. Actually, I might I might kill one or, one or two of those sheep because I need the bed. Hey, sheep! Don't worry, I just kind of need your wool. This is before they had different colored beds too, so. Wait, sheep! Sheep, come back! Thank you, I think that's light gray. Music isn't playing, just hear me. My mic is a little staticky? Oh dear. I might know why, and it's kind of a problem. Um... Oh! D did I just hear your bones break? That's not good. Is that better, or...? Is it worse? Let me know if it's wor let me know if it's better or worse. That might actually be worse. Might need to just that. Music. You got music. You got some music. Okay. Whatever I did has worked for you guys. Cool. Now I'm gonna try muting the other thing. And if, if my microphone is a little staticky, I have been trying to adjust some stuff. I'm gonna turn down my mic a little bit just in case. I've had to like do some weird stuff with settings on my mic. I'm just a little louder now. My tad is still a tad crunchy. Maybe uh, piece, I maybe some maybe I'm peaking the audio. I might be. It is going into the red a little bit. Might if I'm turning down my mic a little bit. Okay, not in the red as much. That might be better. I hope. You might need. You, I'm I'm not the best. I am using a blue yeti. That's the problem. I am using a blue yeti. They are kind of infamous for not having good quality. I am, I am hoping to get a new microphone soon. I actually have one that's coming eventually, very eventually. Um, going back to the game for now. Hello? There we go. I have a microphone that's, that is going to come eventually from a Kickstarter, actually, that I took part in. It's two wool. The third one is down here. Third sheep. Hello, my friend. Thank you for your wool. Okay. Got some iron, got the coal. Gonna take this with us. Oh, it's getting a little dark. Don't like that. I don't like them heading into... I've got some extra iron that I didn't smelt. I do not have an organized inventory. This is gonna be a little bit of a problem. Okay, well. Putting this down. Putting some torches down. Oh. Why did I just put them next to each other? That's not good. Get off the iron. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a little ominous. And, um... Closing this space up, just in case. Oh, for a moment I thought that that was like footsteps coming, that little... Noise, no, it's just the uh. Okay. That's just my music. First, iron pick, because that will be useful. Not gonna use it until I come across anything I really need it for, though, because I don't have a ton of resources at this moment. Um. Then I can make, uh. I'll make myself some iron boots, or. No. Our boots the best. Now let me let me get my let me get myself some more iron actually before I make anything else. Because I can. That's wrong spot. Okay. Whatever. Am I gonna be playing every version until the most recent update? Yes, eventually, after I reach certain goals. That's my that's my plan. Like right now, my goal for 1.0 is to try and get every um, not every- I'm trying to get full iron gear, because I'm not very good when it comes to mining. So I really looked out with the spawn again, because... I was expecting I was going to be, like, wandering the wilderness for a while in search of, like, a safer place to make a cave and a little house and such. Uh, I need full iron gear, a full stack of iron... What am I doing? Um... And then I'm going to be making a base for like 1.0 and a build for 1.0 just stuff that kind of feels very like it's gonna be early game very early game type stuff 
because, yeah, I am technically early game. I'm not a very good builder, and this is gonna be, like, me slowly trying to progress through each version. Oh, I hear zombies. Wonderful, wonderful, of course, of course. I am not surprised by this in the least. Yep, I hear you, zombie. I do think that my music is a little louder than my game, so I might turn the music down a little bit. Hopefully you guys can still hear it, but because I'm hearing zombies... I'll actually go back here so I can compare. Uh, music, where, where are you? There you are. Spotify. And... Turn you to about half. Okay, hopefully that still goes. Oh cool, I see a lot of people do this sort of challenge and they have uh, d d cool takes on progression points like collecting every block, in every block in the version. Yeah, I might do that eventually? I, no, I think... Where, where's my list of goals? I have a list of goals. Uh, so, so these, these are just like kind of some of my plans. For, like from the beginning to the end, for 1.0, goal is to get like a full stack of, like get full iron gear, stack of iron, oh yes, a stack of each type of wood. That would actually be a good idea, is to have a stack of each type of wood just so I can have like it on hand. Then like a 1.0 base and a 1.0 shrine. For 1.1, goal is to have full diamond gear, craft enchantment table, have a basic food farm. A 1.1 base, I could expand my old base depending on how I feel and as like shrine or build for 1.1 and so on. Um, then there's like different goals like as I keep going on, like locate, like for 1.2 is when they added the jungle. Um, Locate a jungle biome. Build iron golem for defense. Don't remember what that was about, but that is a goal of mine, apparently. Uh, tame a cat, which I will very much love to do. A 1.2 base and a 1.2 shrine. Everything has like a specific, has its own base and shrine, but yeah, like craft an ender chest, craft enchanted golden apple, because you could do that in old versions. Uh, explore a jungle or desert pyramid. Um, 1.4 would be like plant a potato or carrot farm. I'll probably go potato farm. Obtain a Wither Skull and cure a zombie villager. So 1.4 is going to get pretty interesting. Let's see, 1.5 is automate a farm. Only goal because redstone. I want to learn redstone eventually. I probably won't be very good at it. I don't expect me to be like Etho or Mumbo Jumbo or whoever. I'm not really... I'm not really that good. Uh, 1.6 is tame a decent horse. <laughs> I'll probably wind up taming several trying to find a decent one. And obtain one of each color sheep, apparently. I don't know why I made that one. I think it's I think that was like one that added like a ton of different color stuff to the game. Not sure. Uh 1.17 not not 1.17. 1.7 is find each of the new biomes, which I have listed being the Mesa, Savannah, Savannah. Sunflower Plains, Roofed Forest, Birch Forest, Flower Taiga, Flower Forest, and Taiga. Flower Taiga would be a whole different thing, imagine that. Uh, obtain a stack of each of the new wood types and fish up each of the new fish types. Uh, 1.8, obtain a stack each of diorite, andesite, and granite. Raid an ocean monument and create a set of ocean-based gear. 1.9 is defeat the ender dragon and obtain an elytra. I'm not going to defeat the ender dragon until 1.9. You'll see that there's like a huge discrepancy there. Like, like I'm not going anywhere near the end until I feel like I'm ready. <laughs> Redstone is the bane of hamster brain's experience, ex existence. Still want to learn it though. Automated farms look so fun and cool. Yeah, it would be like so convenient because I find grinding to be a little tedious a lot of the time. But at the same time, like, I don't know much about automation and such. It'd be nice to learn eventually. Speaking of which, 1.10, I want to create an automatic mob farm and find a fossil. Because that is when like fossils were added to the game. I don't know what kind of mob farm I would create, but it's probably something. Uh, 1.11 is to obtain a shulker box, obtain a totem, a totem of undying, and raid a woodland mansion. I'll probably have to get a shulker box around the time I get an elytra though, to be fair. Why did I, why did I put it down here? Huh, whatever. Um, 1.12, tame a parrot, fight a wither, and I put pride, I don't remember why. I wrote this several months ago. <laughs> um, 1.13, gonna craft a conduit, create a turtle farm, 
uh, 1.14, build my own village, obtain a crossbow, god armor, question mark, question mark, because, but, like, between 1.14 and 1.14.2, I want to say? I, like, I, I did some extra research on this very recently, because, like, somebody, had, like, mentioned, like, they saw, like, in one of Phil's videos, they saw his boots, and, like, they had, like, all sorts of crazy enchantments, and, like, people were like, oh, yeah, it was only in this short window. It was like, oh, so that's when the god armor existed. So I might try and obtain some. Don't know if it'll last through multiple versions, but I might try and obtain some. Um, 1.7, 1.15 is create a bee farm. Don't really have any other goals besides that. 1.16, the nether update, find every nether biome, obtain full netherite gear, find pig step, which is an iconic song, obviously. I'm going to be combining 1.17 and 1.18 into one because it was meant to be one update. Um, find both a dripstone and a lush cave, obtain axolotls and dig to bedrock. 1.19 is to find a mangrove and a deep dark biome. Find an alley, create a frog light farm. And 1.20 is to find a Sakura Grove, build a sniffer habitat slash farm, and find one of every armor trim. That is my current goals for all the current versions. If more versions come out while I'm doing this challenge, because I don't know how long this will take me, I'll probably wind up creating new goals to go along with those versions. But regardless, uh, this is where I'm at right now, all the way at the start, where I'm trying to get full iron gear, a stack of iron, a stack of each type of wood, and then I'll make a base for all of that as well. You zoned out? Sorry, it's alright. I haven't really been doing anything yet. I've just been kind of talking. I've just been talking about my goals for this challenge. Haven't really done much at all. These are such good goals, I'm always a little lost when I start a new world. Same here. That's part of the reason I'm doing all these goals, is because I never know what to do. And the thing is, I can never, like, stay in one spot in Minecraft for very long. I have to continue. I have to keep... I can't stay in one spot. I have to keep progressing. I have to keep moving. Because I get bored of just staying in the same spot. I want to explore. I want to travel. Like, there's so much to see. And being stuck in one spot just isn't for me. Got myself... I think it's a spider I'm hearing. Okay, I can't right-click armor on. I have to... I have to manually drag it. Wow. Minecraft 1.0, what's your deal here? Huh? Please take the- Oh yes! I'm so sorry, I totally forgot. Uh... List is still on screen, I'm so sorry. I didn't even see that. What am I doing? There we go. I was just looking on my screen, it's like, Alright, everything's good! And I forgot that that was still something you guys could see. But yes, it's daylight for some reason. Okay. Got my pants, gonna make myself a helmet. And are there, there is at least four iron. Okay, good. Gonna give myself an iron helmet. Once I have shoes, then I can actually start doing some more exploring. To be fair, I wasn't planning on being able to explore. I'm not gonna have much food, am I? That's just occurred to me, I don't have food. To be fair, I was planning on like, I wasn't planning on going base making this early on. Okay, iron boots. There we go. Fully iron geared up. You know what? I'm actually going to build my base right up here. Right nearby might be a good idea. Uh, I think this is done smelting everything. Yep, it is. Okay. Gonna take this then. Gonna have my sword at the ready, just in case. Oh, the sheep is like in the water. Hello, sheep. I wonder if you being in the water was causing any audio weirdness. That could also be a thing. Yeah, I'm definitely hearing a spider. It's definitely- Oh! Hello! Hello! Oh my gosh! Jeez! <sighs> well then! That was literally a jump scare! Oh my gosh! Okay! Wow! Screw you too, spider! Jeez! Okay! Let's see, there's a desert over there. I don't want to build, like, right here, because it's a little too close to a cave for my comfort. And then, like, there's all like, these little pits and stuff. It's a little spooky. Oh! Hello. Free, free arrow and bone, I suppose. 
I'll take it. Okay, you know what? This is where I'm gonna build my base, right down here. This area, I like this. I like this area. Yeah, there's, there are some caves, but like, those can be covered up, filled in. Oh, great. Well, this is great. Can I sleep through regular rain? Is that a thing I can do? I would like to sleep through regular rain, please. Look at that. You can use white and gray wool to make a red bed. I can only sleep at night. Wonderful! Ah, <sighs> okay, sure. This might as well be happening. Okay. I might have enough stuff that I could potentially make a house. Maybe not, actually. This is gonna be the most basic sort of thing. Two, three, four. Okay, it is starting to get to be sunset, so... Oh, wow. There we go. Sunset. Oh, thank you! The rain has ended because I slept. Hallelujah! I'm, out of, I'm almost out of cobblestone. How'd that happen? How, how did that happen? That is not how I make... <laughs> you can tell I'm out of practice with Minecraft. You can very much tell I'm out of practice with Minecraft. <laughs> Okay, anyways. Why can I not reach four down? Oh my gosh. Can I really not go four down? I, are you kidding me? I cannot... That was two down. How could I not have reached that? 1.0, you are frustrating me. You are very much frustrating me, 1.0. I'm gonna at least get the base of this base done. Excuse me. Do logs not turn? Can I not turn this log? Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, never mind. I don't have that plan I had planned. Ignore the fact that I had a plan that I had wanted to plan, because I do not cannot invest in that plan anymore. Why did I hear that twice? I mean, I could technically still do it. It's just not going to look as good. Don't know what I'm gonna do for an interior. Just gonna give myself a roof for now. Very basic ceiling. Just keep myself covered and hidden. I'll actually sleep right now. I could change it in later versions. I could, but at the same time, it's I want to stay true to 1.0. That's the thing, this is a 1.0 base. I'm gonna be making new bases with the different versions that I go through. I could still- I have told myself I can still use this space for 1.1. However, if 1.1 allows me to rotate logs, I'm not going to use this space. I'm going to move to a new base if it allows- if 1.1 lets me rotate logs. Because then uh, that wouldn't be a 1.1 base, it'd be a- it's- This is- this is my 1.0 base. Gonna be making new bases all the time, trying to get better at builds and stuff. See anything dangerous out there? Don't see anything dangerous. Oh, he's, why does it sound like it's going twice? 